Well, coming up after 7.15, uh, we're going to be talking about how the challenges that families deal with who, who bring up children with disabilities. John is in Greenwich. Hello, John. Ian. Hi. Um, you know, on a more positive note, I, I've made a film for the BBC called My Life Karate Kids, which um, I spent six months with a top school in North London called the Vale School. And it deals with children with all sorts of challenging problems. And like the Prime Minister's uh, son who passed away, Ivan, cerebral palsy is, is the disability that's the hardest one for staff to interact with and for other children to understand. So the BBC gave me some money, six months of time. We went off and filmed with these children as they learned martial arts. And I remember when we started the project, people thought this could be in quite poor taste. And, you know, what was the attempt here to try and you know, set the goal so high for, for disabled children? We found by helping their mobility, it helped their confidence in the classroom, it helped social skills, and actually it helped all aspects of their life when they were able to deal with able-bodied children outside who perhaps were bullying them. And luckily for us, because I don't have any disabilities in my family, and we're hoping that an audience who don't have disabilities would come and join the film, our former Doctor Who, David Tennant, provided a free narration on the film so that it could get as wide an audience as possible. And the film was BAFTA nominated. So it shows there's a lot of positive energy and positive people, you know, around issues of, uh, of disability. And um, that, that's, we don't often give uh, plugs to programmes appearing on the BBC, but let's do that. And that's on Saturday, isn't it? One o'clock on the CBBC channel. That's right. My Life Karate Kids, one o'clock and uh, Saturday, this coming Saturday. And it'll be on the iPlayer then for seven days afterwards. What, um, what was the one thing that you, t- you took away from that experience? Well, you know... Um, it's amazing how robust disabled children are. You know, the matter-of-fact way that one of our child contributors says that, you know, he had some boys in the park that took away his sticks and were swearing at his mum, but he kind of just got up with things and got on with life. And I think the thing that's, that's most humbling for able-bodied people when they see something like this is that, you know, we might complain about not having the latest trainers and iPads and iPods and so on, but the children are so robust and they have a, a really strong mental attitude and the school itself engenders that. And I think the more that we can include people in our lives with disabilities, um, the more it actually will enhance what we do in everyday life. So it's quite a humbling experience for me and all of the people involved. I'm sure. And, and from the parents that you talked to, what, what did you find that the main challenges were from their point of view? Now, for mums and dads, this is the thing. This is where it gets quite controversial. If you're a mum and dad that's quite articulate and you can fight the fight with the local authority, you will get the access you will get the extracurricular help you need and you will get the modifications you need to your house. If you're not and you, you can't, um, you know, shout powder and be articulate, you will get left behind. So what's quite worrying for some children is depending on how good your parents' political skills are will depend on sometimes the outcome at school and beyond. And once school finishes, the terrifying thing is all of this help suddenly stops, it suddenly switches off. Um, so I think, you know, the idea of, getting people ready for working life, which was the most basic behind our film, I think there needs to be more government help there. So after school finishes, and if you're not going on to further education, we need something in the community that can give these disabled children a softer landing, because at the moment they're hitting the ground hard when they find out that the real world can't help them. And the way the benefit system is set up, often they can't find work they want to find because, um, you know, the odds are stacked against them. Mm. Well, John, it's a fascinating way to kick off our uh, phone-in. Thank you very much indeed for phoning in. That's uh, John. He's got this uh, BAFTA-nominated documentary, My Life uh, Karate Kids. It's being shown on Saturday, the 19th of October, at 1 o'clock on the CBBC channel. Uh, keep your calls coming, 0845 6060